Hey folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and this uh, lesson is comparing fractions. So our common core strand is uh, we're going to use models to compare uh, fractions, um, uh, compare it with one half basically. We're going to use fraction strips, okay? Let's do a little prior knowledge here. So uh, uh, Chris walked three-eighths of a mile to school. Jim walked seven-eighths of a mile to school. Who walks farther? And to explain, okay, so what I did on this one, you guys, is I just made a rectangle, and the rectangle represents uh, one mile right here, and then I cut them up into eight equal pieces. Okay, so here's eight equal pieces. Same with Jim, here's eight equal pieces, and, and Chris walks three of the eight, so there's a representation of three eighths. Here's Jim's seven eighths right there, and since seven eighths is greater than three eighths, then uh, that tells me that Jim's going to walk farther on that, okay? Oops, I didn't even write that down. So Jim, Jim's the one who walks farther. All right? Okay, so uh, Monica made two uh, pies for her mother and father. After dinner, there was three-fourths of the apple pie left, and there was one-fourth of the cherry pie left. Which pie had more left? Okay? Well, that's just like the other one, you guys. Uh, three-fourths is bigger than one-fourth, so that means... Um, uh, whoops, I didn't even write the answer there either. So that means that um, there was um, uh, more of the apple pie left right here, okay? Because there was three-fourths of the apple pie left. Okay? All right. So uh, uh, here we go. Monica then made some trail mix, and she mixed uh, three-fourths of a gallon of raisins with five-sixths of a gallon of peanuts. Did she use more peanuts or more uh, or more raisins? Okay, here it's a little different, you guys, because um, this is in uh, fourths and this is in six. So what I'm going to do is use a fraction strip right here to compare uh, three fourths and five six. Okay, so have you seen fraction strips before, you guys? Here's a fraction strip with length one right here. Here's a fraction strip that's cut up into fourths, one fourth size. And here's the same size fraction strip right here that's cut up into six equal pieces. So this is in one sixth size right there, okay? So um, so she used uh, three fourths. Here's three of them. One, two, three fourths. Uh, she mixed uh, for raisins. And then she mixed um, uh, five sixths for peanuts right here. Okay, so did she use more peanuts or did she use more raisins? Well, can you see the red goes a little further than the blue right here? So she definitely used more peanuts than she did on raisins right here, okay? So five, um, six is definitely greater than three, four, so she ended up using more peanuts on that. All right, so benchmarks, you guys, are known sizes or amounts that help you understand different size amounts. So in this lesson, we're going to be using the benchmark of a half to help us compare other fractions, okay? So um, you could use any kind of benchmark size you want, but in this lesson, we're going to use a half to compare different numbers here. So here's a fraction strip of 1. Here's a fraction strip of 1, but it's cut, cut up into two equal halves. Here's a fraction strip that's cut up into fourths, and here's one of the, the six right there, okay? So... So explain how uh, the number uh, of six size parts in five six is related to the number of six size parts you need in one half. Okay. All right. So here's a half right here. So six uh, 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 in in six you need three six to make a half right there. Okay. So five six has five parts, and since there are six parts in a whole, you need three of them to make three six to make one half. Here's three six. There's a half on this side. And there's a half on this side right here. So since 5 parts is greater than 3 parts, then 5 6 is greater than 3 6. So that means that since 3 6 is 1 half, then 5 6 is greater than 1 half right there. Okay, does so that make sense with those fraction strips right there? So write 5 fractions that are equivalent to a half. Okay, and what is the relationship between the numerator and denominator? Okay, let me go back to the fraction strips right here. Okay, so here's a, a fraction that equals a half. Well, right here, here's a fraction that also equals a half, 2 fourths. So there's a fraction. Here's another fraction that goes out to a half, 3 6. So can you think of more fractions like uh, 4 eighths? 4 eighths would be a fraction. Uh, 5 tenths, 6 twelfths. So here's my 2 fourths, my 3 6, my 4 eighths. And if you notice, you guys, the numerator is always half the denominator, or the denominator is always twice the numerator, okay? So 6 is half of 12. 5 is half of 10, 4 is half of 8. That's why these are all 1 half, because the numerator is 1 half the denominator. Okay, so, so how can you compare 5, 6, and 1 half without using a, a model, without using the fraction strips models? All right, well, 5, 6, when I'm talking about 6, here's a half right here for 6, 3, 6. 
Okay, so since 5 6 is greater than 3 6, then I know 5 6 is greater than 1 half, okay? So 3 uh, of the 6 is equivalent to a half, and since 5 6 is more than 3 6, then 5 6 is greater than 1 half, okay? So explain how you can tell that 7 tenths is greater than a half without using a model, okay? Well, if I'm talking about tenths, then 5 tenths would be 1 half, you guys, and since... Um, since uh, 7 is greater than 5, then 7 tenths is greater than 5 tenths or a half. Okay, so 7 tenths is greater than a half. Okay, number 5. Explain how you can tell that 5 halves, I'm sorry, 5 twelfths is less than 1 half without using a model. Okay, so in twelfths, in terms of twelfths, what represents 1 half in terms of twelfths? What's half a twelfth? Okay, that would be 6. 6 twelfths is 1 half, you guys. So 6 twelfths is equivalent to 1 half, and since 5 is less than 6, then 5 twelfths is less than 6 twelfths, or less than a half. Okay? Alright, so let's try this, you guys. Compare uh, these fractions right here, and I'm just going to compare them to uh, their, um, their representation of a half, you guys. Okay, so we're going to write greater than or less than. This one says less than, this one says greater than. Okay, remember the greater than, the, the bigger number. Um, have you seen the Pac-Man symbol? I don't have that on here. But um, uh, the, it, it's always faced towards the bigger number. Okay, so um, in terms of force, what would represent a half? Well, two-fourths would represent a half, and since one-fourth is less than two-fourths, then one-fourth is less than a half. Okay, and then um, uh, when I'm talking about six, you guys, three six represents a half, and since five six is greater than three six, then five six is greater than a half. So this is less than a half, and this is greater than a half. Okay, so I wrote it down here. Think uh, one fourth is less than a half, and five six is more than a half. So the, it, the, it's going to have to go this way. Five six is greater than one fourth right there. Okay, all right, same over here, you guys. If I think of a half, 4 eighths represents a half, and since 7 eighths is greater than 4 eighths, then 7 eighths is greater than a half. Okay? And since 6 twelfths is equal to a half, and this is greater than a half, then, it's going to, then 7 eighths is going to be, um, uh, 7 eighths is greater than 6 twelfths. Okay? Because 7 eighths is greater than a half, and 6 twelfths equals a half. Okay, over here. Okay, eighths, 4 eighths represents a half, and since 3 eighths is less than 4 eighths, this is less than a half. Okay, tenths, five tenths is a half, and since seven tenths is greater than five tenths, then uh, seven tenths is greater than a half. So this is greater than a half, this is less than a half, so seven tenths is greater than um, uh, three eighths. Okay, all right, okay, twelfths, six twelfths is a half, this is greater than a half, three six is equal to a half, so this is greater than this, so it's going to go that way right there. Okay, okay, four eighths, that equals a half. 5 tenths is uh, equal to a half, so 9 tenths is greater than a half. So this is greater than a half, this is equal to a half, so um, it's going to go this way. Okay? And then one more, you guys. Uh, okay, this one's a little harder, you guys. This is, uh, what's half of 3, you guys? Alright, well, um, uh, half of 3 is 1.5, and since this is less than 1.5, this is less than a half. This equals a half right here. Okay, you're not supposed to have decimals with fractions, but if you're just thinking of a half, you guys, you know, um, uh, what's half of 3? Well, 1.5 is half of 3, and 1 is less than 1.5, so this side's less than a half. Okay, this side equals a half, so this one's a little harder to see, so it goes that way. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Take care.